Let's look at Psalm chapter 110 and verse 1. Psalm chapter 110 and verse 1. It is a psalm of David. Let's read the verse one together. Let's read the verse one together. The Lord says to my Lord, sit on my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. 예수소의 승천입니다. Now is the number three, the ascension of Jesus Christ. 어뭐 승천 하늘로 올라가는 건데. Ascension is going up into heaven. 우리가 그걸 말하는 게 아니고 승천이 뭘 의미하냐. So we are not talking about Jesus going up into heaven, but what does ascension mean to us? 에 본격적으로 왕노라. So ascension means that in full scale, God, I mean the Jesus now, he begins to reign. So we should understand about this. So it is the significance or the meaning of the ascension. So it is the prophecy of David, uh, Psalm 110. Yes, 110 and verse 1. The Lord says to my Lord, so the Lord in the beginning and says the, to my Lord a different Lord. 자, 대신, 대신 so the Lord, the Jehovah God is telling this to Jesus. 네 되기까지, and the Lord says to uh, my Lord Jesus, sit at my right hand until I make all your enemies a footstool for your feet. 자, 그래서 사도행전 1장 9절을 보면 if you look at Acts chapter 1 verse 9, this resurrected Lord in front of the eyes of the disciples, he was taken up into heaven. So in front of about 500 people, Jesus was taken up into heaven. How, you know, amazing was it? Then all of the people, you know, they were looking uh, intently up into the sky. But the cloud came and that hid all the sin. <laughs> then they couldn't see Jesus anymore. At that time, the, the two men with the white gown or white robe uh, uh, came out and then said this to the people. Probably they were the angels, right? You people of Galilee, why are you standing up here and then looking into the heaven? Jesus, who was taken up into heaven into your uh, before your eyes, he will come back as the way you have seen him go into heaven. <laughs> so that was it. That <laughs> So then, because uh, the angel said that he will come back again, so then the disciples had to wait for him to come back. Then, do you, what do you think that Jesus went? Where did he went? Yeah, the earth is round. Where do you think uh, Jesus was gone? To? And uh, you can see this in Mark chapter 16 and verse 19. So this Lord who was taken up into heaven, now he is seated at the right hand of God in heaven. So once he is seated in at the right hand of God, then uh, 1 Peter th chapter 3 verse 22 says this. 하나님 보좌 앞에 앉으시니까 천사들 능력들 권세들이 복종하더라. When Jesus uh, he sat at the right hand of God and then all the authority, power and angels became submissive to him. 여러분 뭐 없어 성경 그냥 그저 그저 가지고 이해하시면 돼. Yeah, no more explanation is needed. You know, just understand uh, as it is in the Bible. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 25. Let's look at this verse together. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 
고전 15장 25절에 에, 그가 모든 원수를 그발 아래 둘 때까지 반드시 왕노를 하십니다. It says he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. 고위 부분 그 후에는 마지막이니 이제, 이제 에, 그가 모든 통치와 모든 권세와 모든 것을 멸하시고 나라를 아버지 하나님께 바칠 때라. And prior to this verse, verse 24 says that then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. 자 이거는 이제 주님 재림하셔서 나라를 하나님 나라 완성하고 이제 그 나라를 아버지께 바친다 그 말이. It means that uh, you know after completing God's kingdom on this earth and then he will uh, after he comes back he will complete this God's kingdom. 그때까지 뭐 하시느냐? Kingdom and then he will offer this God's kingdom. 모두 원수를 발아래 둘 때까지 반드시 왕노를 하시. So it means that until he comes back again then he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. 시편 백시편의 성취. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 is the fulfillment of the prophecy of verse 1. The Lord says to my Lord. 내가 네 원수를 완전히 네 발을 줄 때까지 뭐요? 너는 내 우편에 앉으시라. Sit at my right until I make all your enemies a footstool for your feet. 사단을 완전히 발등상 발 놓는 상 발을 완전히 밟을 때까지 너는 내 우편에 앉으시라. Yeah, you must sit at my right until I make all your enemies under uh, a footstool for your feet. A footstool. 그걸 오늘 고전 15장 25절 뭐라 했습니까? 원수를 바라둘 때까지 반드시 왕노로다. But in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 uh, says this way: You must reign until you have put all the all your enemies under your feet. 그게 승천입니다. So this is what ascension means or signifies. 나 옛날에 뭐 하나 우편에 앉으셨다 가야 돼. 야, 뭐, 뭐 의자 하나 갖다 옆에 앉아 계시나 이래. Uh, before when Bible tells us that uh, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, that it means that oh, he brought another chair next to God and then seated there. 보좌 옆에 계시다가 보좌 앉아 계시 하는 옆에다 또 의자 하나 갖다 그 같이 앉아 계시. Because Bible says that he seated at the right hand of God, so I thought maybe Jesus brought another chair next to God and then. 그거 어디 우주 막 비행기 타고 온 우주 지금 달나라 가지고 저 화성까지 가는데 뭐 어떻게 하십니까? Yeah, even these days, you know, people travel to the moons and then travel to the universe. 승천이 뭔 말? Oh, so then what this ascension means? 자, 그리스도께 하나님이 모든 통치권을 위임하셨다. It means that really God, He entrusted all the sovereignty to rule into hands of Jesus. 그 통치권을 본격적으로 행사하는 왕노라. So in full scale, after His His ascension, He reigns. 그게 승천입니다. So this is what ascension of Jesus Christ means. 예수님께서 말씀하셨어요. 하늘과 땅의 모든 권세가 다 내게. This is what Jesus said, Matthew 28 and verse 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And Acts chapter 10 verse 36. 만유의 주시다. So Jesus is the Lord of all lords. 모든 존재의 주가 되신다. So He is Lord of all. 자 요한계시록 19장 16절. And Revelation chapter 19 verse 16. 만왕의 왕이시다. He is King of kings. 만주의 주가 되시다. He is Lord of lords. 계시록 1장 20절. And Revelation chapter 1 verse 20. 일곱 별을 붙잡고 일곱 초대사에 다니신다. He holds seven stars in his hand and he walks among the seven uh, golden lamb stamps. 일곱 별은 일곱 교회 사자를 말한다. So even seven stars signifies the seven angels of the churches. 일곱 초대는 일곱 교회를 말한다. And seven golden lamb stands for the seven churches. 여러분이 승천 왕노로다. So ascension has something to do with uh, you know it's a ruling. 모든 주권을 가지신 그리스도께서 본격적으로 온 세상을 그야말로 사단에 무너뜨리고 하나님 나라를 확장시키는 아, 하나님 나라를 확장시키고. So Jesus Christ who has all the authority of heaven and on earth and then he is destroying Satan's kingdom and he is enlarging God's kingdom he is really reigning over this world. 언제까지? Until when? 사단을 완전히 바보지가. Until he put his uh, enemy Satan under his feet, he's doing this. So until that time, Christ is the ruler. He reigns. 하나님 나라 완성되면 그때 그날을 아버지께 바치. 
When God's kingdom is completed, he will hand this kingdom over to God. 그리고 아버지께서는 이 아들 예수께 모든 통치권을 다 위임하셨다. That's why God the Father he entrusted all the sovereignty of sovereignty to rule into Jesus. 모자 앉아서만 복적적으로 이제 왕노를 하는 겁니다. So sitting at the throne of God now in full scale he reigns or he 그렇다면 여기서 우리 승천이 시간이 He reigns as a king. So then from this we can learn the ascension faith. 이걸 phase. 믿는다면 그럼 우리 어떻게 해야 돼? So if you truly believe the ascension of Jesus Christ then what do you have to do? 자, 예수의 통치를 받아야 돼요. You must be reigned by Jesus Christ is. 왜 통치하고 계실까? Because Jesus he reigns. 통치를 받는 삶을 살아라 이 말이에요. So you must live your life reigned by Jesus Christ. 자, 다시 말하면 예수의 주권에 순종하는 삶. In other words, you must become obedient to sovereignty of Jesus Christ. 여기서 신앙생활이 나오다 말이에요. So from this uh, our work of faith comes stands out. 신앙생활은 막 바르게 다 착하게 사는 게 아니고 그리스도의 통치를 받는 삶. Work of faith is not for you to live very righteous living or you know very uh, good living but 그래서 요한복음 2장 11절. It is to be led uh, to be reigned by Jesus Christ. It is work of faith. 그리스도를 주로 보시 So 그렇죠? then uh, you can see a uh, 메사의 모든 사건 일 문제 속에 그리스도가 주, 주가 되게 하시 So in book of John uh, chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 in every matters you know you have to acknowledge Jesus as your lord. 그러니까 아까 있잖아요. 너희 속에 착한 시야시가 그리스도다 그 이루고 싶어 확신한다. So Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 uh, he who began a good work inside of you will bring it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ, right? 너희 안에서 행하신 하나님이시다. And also Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 it is God who works inside of you. 그 하나님이 자기의 기쁘신 뜻에 따라 자기의 소원을 두고 이루고 하신다. So to will and to act according to his good purpose. <웃음> 자, 그래서 내게 능력이 안 내가 모든 걸할수 있다. In Philippians 4:13, so I can do all things through him who gives me strength. 나는 가난한 자들과 부여도 찾을 수 있고, 나는 저 높은 데도 나를 찾을 상관없다. 이 체비에 깨달다. 그래서 아니. I know what it means to have plenty. I know what it means to be uh, in need. So I learn the secret to be content in all circumstances. 그분이 나의 모든 필요를 채우신다. Because Jesus Christ, He is the one who meets all my needs. 그렇다면 저와 여러분이 이거 하면 돼요. If that is so, then this is what you have to do. Peter chapter five verse uh, verse seven says, "Cast all your anxiety on the Lord to the Lord." 여러분이 주가 되신 그리스도가 하늘의 땅의 모든 것을 다 갖고 있어. So the Lord who uh, the Jesus Christ who is the the Lord of your life, He has all the authority of heaven and earth. 그분은 만왕의 왕이시다. He is the King of Kings. 그러니까 모든 염려 다 맡기 버려. So you can really entrust all your care, uh, worries to him. 그러면 돌봐주겠다. Then he will care for you. 자, 필리포 사장 6절 8 7절입니다. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7. 아무도 염려하지 말고. Do not be anxious about in anything. 모든 일에 기도 간구를 늘 구할 뻔 감사한 깨라. But in all things, uh, with a uh, prayer and petition, present your request to God with a thanksgiving. 그러면 평강이 하는 너희 마음과 생각 지키시라. Then the God of peace, uh, that transcends all things, will guard your hearts and thoughts. 여러분 실제 이렇게 살면 돼요. So realistically, you can live 그렇죠. your life uh, in this manner. 아무리 여러분 안에 그리스도가 주가 돼서 여러분 실제 이렇게 안 살면. No matter how much Christ becomes the Lord in your life, but you don't live like a First Peter chapter five verse seven or Philippians four six seven, then. God, in our inner life, Jesus is accepted. How can you live a you know a abundant life? A 친척이 교회를 하는데 그 손님으로 초대받 손님. Jesus was invited to the wedding banquet in Cana. 손님으로 계시니까 그냥 뭐 가만 계시다가 주문 먹고 안 주면 그냥 오면 되는 거예요. When Jesus was a guest in the wedding banquet, so nothing happened, you know. So in the middle of the banquet, so they became run out of the wine. 여러 포도주가 술이 아니고 그그 사막 오아 사막이 그 이스라엘 땅 물이 없잖아요. 물 대신 음료를 마요. 음료 음료수 마요. So at that time, the wine was not the like a alcohol or drink, but it was just like water in the wilderness. 아이 뜨거운 건데 음료가 없으니까 목이 얼마나 말겠어요. So then they had food, but they did, they ran out of the wine, the drink, uh, something to drink. 아 지금 같으면 이제 돈 주고 사오면 되는데 옛날에 만들어 먹으시대 다못 만들어 다못 버렸다. 
So of course, you know, in this time, uh, in this age, of course, we went out to the, we go to the store and we can buy more. But but at that time, because they used up all what they made. 그러니까 곤란이 된 거예요. 뭐 만들 수도 없고 지금 만들 어디 먹겠어? So that's why they fell into trouble. They were in trouble. 그때 마리아가 옆에 있다가 이 집에 포도주가 다 들어. So at that time, this is what Mary said to the servants of that house. 예수님 말은 그게 나와 무슨 상관이? So then uh, she said, "Oh, you 그렇죠. know this house. They ran out of the wine. So what?" 아, 그건 주인 문제, 손님이 내가 와 무관 계세요. 그냥 뭔지 안 보는 그 감리. Jesus replied to his mother, "Mother, what that has something? Uh, what that has something to do with me? I don't have any relation with that." 그러니까 마리아가 하인드 보고 이러라. Then Mary called the servants to him. 이분 말 들어라. Then listen to what he says to you. 그저 예수께서 아 그래 그러면. 발손 씻는 항아리 거기다가 물을 아홉 가지 씌워라. So, uh, so then uh, Jesus finally he told the servants of the house. Then he said, oh, oh, you know, get the water and then fill the jar uh, up to the brim. 항아리 여섯 개인데 물을 다 하인들이 막 순전히 다 채워 올라서 그냥 보고 다 채웠다고 말. Then the servants became obedient to Jesus' word and then there were six jars. Then they filled all the six jars up to the brim. 그 그다음 이제 떠다가 이런 이제 갖추라. And then Jesus actually told them, "Now get the water and then give it to the master of the banquet." 네, 알았습니다. Then the servants obeyed what he said. So okay, they got the water and then they gave it to the master of the banquet. 아, 여러 가지 가면 뭐 어디? 어, 이 포도 어디 났냐? 이 포도 이 어디 났냐? So then after looking at the wine, then uh, he, this uh, master asked the servants, Oh, where did you get this wine? <laughs> <laughs> after tasting the wine, she said, Oh, it is such a wonderful taste. <laughs> the master banquet, he said that, Oh, mostly most of the houses, they usually served good wine first, and then later on, you know, lo lower quality wine. But this house, they served a good quality College wine later. Yes, you mean pure has here. So Jesus gave this kind of parable. So what does this parable mean then? No matter how much power and authority Jesus, all the authority of heaven and earth he may have, he has, but if he is just a guest to you, then nothing can happen. But you must confess or acknowledge this Jesus as your Lord. 고백만 게 실제 그렇게 하시 실제. So not only just confess, but realistically you have to believe. 여러분은 하나님 나라 백성이기 때문에 이제부터 실제로 어떻게 살았냐 모든 메사의 그리스도가 주가 되게 하시. Oh, you realistically you must proclaim that Jesus is my Lord of my life. In every matter you have to do that. 그러니까 너 염려를 다 죽게 맡기래. That's why 1 Peter 5, 7 says, the cast all your anxiety on the Lord. If the Lord, the Christ is my Lord in my life, then I can trust, I can actually cast all my concerns on Him. That's why I shouldn't have to be anxious about anything. 미래. So in all matters, 여러분 이제부터 이렇게 살면 되는 이거 삶을 체험하셔야 돼. 진짜 이거 체험하고 그때부터 이 모든 걸 해보고 끝나고. So you have to live your life believing this, and then it really it should happen in your life, right? 그렇잖아요. 물이 변해 파도 되다. 이거 사람은 불가능한 거예요. 인간은 할수 없어. The water turned into wine. Man cannot do this, right? 그렇잖아요. 그거는 제 창조의 창조. 물이 왜 파도 됩니까? So turning the water into wine, it is the work of recreation. 그 초과학적인 삶. It is a beyond the science. 그리스는 그런 분입니다. Transcend the science. 여러분이 모든 것을 그리스도께 맡기면 그런 역사입니다. You know, um, if you believe truly Christ as your Lord, this kind of thing will happen. 그러니까 신앙생활은 뭐냐? 그리스도의 통치를 받는 삶. So then, what is the work of faith? Work of faith is for you to be reigned by Christ. 그리스도의 주권에 순종하면 돼. And you, you also be obedient and submissive to sovereignty of Christ. 왜안 할까? But why do you not do that? 이리 갈까 저리 갈까? You always hesitate. Should I go this direction or opposite direction? 이리 갈까 저리 갈까? You always you uh, hesitate whether I should go this direction or opposite direction. 자 하나님. So let's say God is in left left hand side, and you are on the right hand side. 하나님의 IQ 얼마요? What is God's IQ? 하나님 지혜. 
the wisdom of God. What do you think the God's wisdom is? It is infinite, right? If I say infinite, you cannot imagine how big it is. It is. Let's say we give number 100. God's wisdom is 100, then what is your wisdom? Of course, you should give the lowest number one, but let's say just 10. Your wisdom is 10, God's wisdom is 100. IQ, let's say. What about God's power? How much is it? It is infinite as well, right? What about your power? Let's say it is 10. Uh, what, is about, uh, what about the God's love? How much is it? Let's say it's 100 as a number, then our love is 10 as a number. So God who has a hundred of wisdom, power, and uh, love, he asks us to go to this direction. But we who have only the ten of wisdom, love, and power, we want to go to the other direction. Then which, which direction will you go? Which direction will you go? Then, you know, I don't even have to mention about it, you know, I should go to God's direction, God's direction. But you don't go to God's direction. But you try to go to your own direction. Even you pray to God, oh God, please let me go to this, my direction. You just force God to let you go to your direction. And then you say, oh, I'm leaving my work of faith. But why you do not go to God's direction, God, the direction God asks you to go, but you go to your own direction? What is the direction? I mean, the reason, the reason, the key is it is unbelief. Because you don't really believe in God, that's why. So what is the faith and the obedience? Obedience and faith is, is the double sides of the coin. That's why J, uh, Jason, J, James, uh, James, he said, you know, the faith, uh, the action without faith is like a dead It means the faith and the action are not two different things. If there is a coin, on one side there is faith, on the other side it has to be the obedience, right? If you truly believe in God, you are bound to obey God, right? Because you don't believe God, that's why you are disobedient to God. So we live our lives that way. So you have no reason not to do, you know, not to follow Yeah, Jesus Christ, he has all the authority of heaven and on earth, and he even loves me more than I love myself, and he has all the uh, wisdom, love, and power of God. Why? You know, do you not follow his command or order? 믿음, 하나님을 의지하고 순종은 같은 말이죠. 진짜 하나님을 의지 순종하면 신뢰하면 순종하게 돼. Yeah, believing in God and obedient to God, it is the same thing. If you truly believe in, you have no choice but to obey him. 자, 그래서 여러분이 알아야 돼요. 하나님 나라의 법. That's why there is something you must know. It is the law of God's kingdom. 하나님 나라의 원리입니다. 통치 원리. It is the law of God's kingdom. Is it is the principle by which God rules or God reigns. 자 예수님께서 하나님 나라의 첫 백성인 제자들에게 뭐라고 말씀하세요? So the law of God's kingdom is, in other words, it is a commandment, and, and the first disciple, I mean, the first people of His God's kingdom, who are the disciples, what do you say to them? I'm giving you new commandment now. 그렇죠. 
그 계명이 뭐예요? So what is this new commandment? 내가 너를 사랑하지 너희 서로 사랑하라. As I have loved you, you have to love one another. 하나님 나라 계명은 예수님께서 이 계명을요 모든 선지자들의 이 그러니까 이 계명과 선지자의 모든 강령을 그 선지의 말을 합쳐가지고 한마디로 딱 두고 와요 이게. If you summarize all the words, all the teachings of the prophets, you can summarize in uh, into one. It is the love one another. Matthew 22, 37-39. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 39. 하나님을 사랑. If you uh, you have to love your God. 어의 사랑. How you have to love 너는 God. 너는 마음을 다하고 뜻을 다하고 힘을 다해 주는 하나님을 사랑. It says, with all your heart, with all your strength, with, your, with all your mind, you have to love your God. And you must thoroughly love your God. The yeah, with all your strength, you must love your God. 네 이웃을, 네 After that, you have to love your neighbor as yourself. So this is the double 그렇죠. commandment of love. 이중 사랑 개명. So this is double commandment of love. 모든 하나님의 법을 말씀을 여기 보면 딱두 개. 하나님의 사랑, 이웃 사랑. If you summarize all the Bible or the, all the words of the God, all the words of God, it is you know it is just a love God and love your neighbor. 예수님 이걸 가지고 제자들 보고 세계명을 준다. So using this, Jesus he told his disciples, I am giving you new commandment now. 그 요한복음 4장 13장 그 말이에요. 13장 34절 35절. 어, John chapter 4 verse 13. 어. 세계명을 얘기 주는. Yeah, John chapter 3 verse 34 35. I am giving you the new commandment. 하나님 나라의 첫 백성이 누굽니까? So who are the first people of God's kingdom? 제자들이에요, 제자들. They are 그렇죠? the disciples. 그들에게 내가 너에게 세계명을 주는. So then he is telling his disciples, I'm giving you new commandment. 그게 하나님을 사랑하고 이웃을 사랑. So the new command commandment is to love God and to love neighbors. 자, 그또 요한 1세 가면 또또 말씀 나오고. And also when you look at 1 John. 요한 1세 보면 계명 이 그의 계명 계명 계명이 나오고서 마지막 21절 보면 우리가 이 계명 주께 받았는데 그뭐 하나님을 사랑한 자는 또한 그 형제를 사랑할지라. So it mentions about a lot of commandments of God and then it says also because since we receive this commandment from God uh, we, uh, because we love God, so we must also love one another. 하나님 나라의 법은 딱두 가지. So the law in God's kingdom are concluded in two things. 하나님 사랑, 이웃 사랑. It is love for God and love for neighbors. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 하나님 사랑이 뭡니까? What is love for God then? 어떻게 하는 게 하나님 사랑이? So what is the love for God? 하나님을 전적으로 의지하고 순종하는 거다. Thoroughly obeying God, thoroughly relying on God is love for God. Yeah, or loving God. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 여러분이 하나님을 절제히 믿고 그 하나님 뜻에 말씀에 순종하는 거. Thoroughly for you believing in God and thoroughly you obey you obey his words. 그게 하나님의 사랑. That's what the love for God is. 그러니까 원래 돌아가는 거야. 응? It means you now return to you can you return to the original state. 통치, where when you were created by God, it is the principle of God's creation. 뭐 so if you don't understand this very well, then what is the opposite to this love for God? What is the opposite to love for God? It is a love for idol or idol worshiping. Do you do idol worshiping or not? 우선수 안 해요. Do you do idol worshiping or not? 안 하지. 그렇죠? You may say that oh we don't do idol worshiping. 안 하잖아요. Yeah, of course you don't do it, right? 하는도 모르죠. <웃음> or you do it but you are not aware of that. 우리 우선수 가면 이런 거 놓고 이름 우선수라고 해요. When we <웃음> hear idol worshiping, we always think of idol worshiping as this. You know, we bow down to the statues. <웃음> That is very low level of idol worshiping. 그런 거는 예수 믿음 아니야. 불신자도 똑똑한 놈 그래야 해. 그 This low level <웃음> of idol worshiping. Once you believe in Jesus Christ, you would not do that. Even unbelievers, they don't do this kind of low level idol worshiping. 제가 지금부터 여러분 우상숭배하는 가르쳐 줄게. 
bowing down to statues or images. 마태복음 6장 24절. So now I will tell you about the, the idol worshiping you are doing. It's in Matthew 6:24. 예수님께서 가장 강력한 우상 숭배를 뭐야? Let's look up to the Bible verse. What is the strongest idol worshiping? The Bible tells us. 최고 강한 강력한 파괴적인 우상 숭배 뭔지 아세요? You know what is the strongest and the most destructive idol worshiping? 6장 24절. It is in Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. 예수님 말하겠어요? What did Jesus say about this? 한 사람이 두 주인을 섬기지 못할 것이다. It says no no one can serve two masters. 꼭 이를 미워하고 죄를 사랑하거나 아니면 이를 중요하고 죄를 경의하면 It also says either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one or despise the other. 하나님과 재물을 겸하여 섬기지 못한다. And also it says you cannot serve both God and the money. 가장 강력한 우상 숭배 뭐예요? So what is the strongest idol worshiping? 재물 우상. It is worshiping the money. 마모니즘. We call it mammonism. 아유. 가장 파괴력 강한 우상. It has the most destructive power. 맞잖아요. Isn't it true? 돈. Money. 그렇죠. 가장 시험들이 뭐요? When you fall, when you mo, you fall into trial the most. 돈 때문에. 네? 돈 때문에. Ah, because of money, you fall into trials many times. 그러니까 에, 돈 가지고 인생 문제 70% 해결할 수. People say that uh, with this money you can uh, solve life problems 70% of your life problems. 그러니까 막돈 가운 사람들이 막 돈을 That's why when we say money, people all cheer for that. 여러분도 뭐 그럴 수 있거든요. Even for you, maybe you can be like that too. 제가 성교지 가보면 막뭐 아무리 봉 받아도 돈에 대한 동기는 못 버려. So when I go to these missions field, even though they receive the gospel, but their motive for towards the money, they cannot really discuss. 아무리 막 그래서 뭐니 해결을 막 하나님이 살아 함께한다 이래도 그래도 돈. Even though I, you know, shout out that a crisis solution to all problems, and then God is with you, but still they are seeking money. 그러면 돈을 의지하는 거예요. They also rely on the money. 돈 주면 돈 주는 줄 갚으래. Yeah, if they can receive money, they go go to that place to risk can where we they can receive money. 여러분 안 그래 그런지 다른 반응이 안 보인데. <laughs> you have no response to this. Probably you are not like that. That's why. Yeah, 막 선교사들이 가서 막돈 갖다 주고 막 거의 지주고 이런 막 너무 전부요. 그런 게 너무 그런 나니까 아예 막 가기 불이 채지 돼. You know when uh, these missionaries from overseas countries when they you know you know give them the finance and also they build a church building. They offer these materialistic things, and you know they all, you know, go to that missionary. 내가 저 에드피아 이 친구들 인데 미안한데. I'm I'm really sorry to say this. 와서 훈련 받다가요. 포럼 시킨데 한 사람이 이러더라고. So when they came here to receive training, and then this is what they said during forum. 방금 우리 다리 모상 전화 왔다. 우프 모상 가봐. Oh, just now we received a phone call from our uh, Reverend uh, Oden Pastor in my church. The 어디냐? 아, 한국 사람, 한국 모상 훈련한데 그거 왔다. Oh, so then uh, the pastor uh, in Ethiopia, I mean his church, asked him, "Where are you now?" Then he said, "Oh, I am in Korea to receive training." 그래, 돈 많이 받긴 이래들. Then the pastor in Ethiopia said to the one receiving training, "Oh, I think you're gonna receive a lot of money, right?" 돈 많이 받아라. And then even he said, "Oh, please, you know, take a lot of money, receive a lot of money." 그게 목사 그래, 목사. That's what the pastor in Ethiopia said. 한국 사람 와서 이제 하니까 돈 많이 받겠지, 네가 돈 많이 받. So it, I think he means that because he's receiving training in Korea, and then probably he thought that he can maybe re receive some financial support. Yeah, 그런 걸 나, 많이 받. I have seen these kind of cases uh, many times. If we don't support them financially, then they all go, you know, they run away from us. That's why I always say this, you know, I don't need many people. I just want to need one individual. 
Yeah, what I need is just one individual who loves the gospel, you know. 뭐냐, 워낙 막 그런 쪽으로 막다막 선교 대놓으니까요. 전부 그 동기가 너무 강. So in many cases, a lot of people, you know, they even uh, come to Korea with this kind of motive, and then they said they want to receive training and things like that. 그러니까 막, 야, 막, 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 늘 보면 뭘 하고 그러면 그 다음에 돈을 줘야 돼. 응? 돈을 달라 right. 기다려. It's kind of it became habitual. Whatever you know, whenever the training finishes, they are in expectant of receiving money or finance. 그만큼 돈이란 게 위력이 있는 거예요. So to this much money has a power. 예수님께 이렇게 말씀하세요. This is what Jesus said. 돈하고 하나님을 그만히 섬길 수 없다. So you cannot serve both uh, you, uh, money and God. 여러분은 어느 걸 선택할 것입니까? Then which one will you choose? 말은 아주 쉽죠. Maybe you know just uh, to say the word it would be easy. 저는 많이 봤어요. 다 돈이 하나님보다 더 위대한 걸 많이 봐. But I have seen many cases that uh, a lot, uh, in many cases uh, money is more greater than God to them. 왜? 하나님이 안 믿으니까. Why? It's because they are not they are not 그렇죠. able to believe God. That's why. 여러분 진짜 하나님이 믿으면 If you are truly able to believe in God or believe God, then why do you rely on God? You know, you will rely on God. Yes, uh, you you re- you rely 뭘 먹을까, 입을까, 마시가 그 염려하지 마라. That's why Jesus said, you should not worry about what to eat, what to wear, what to drink. 저 들의 백합. Look at the lilies of the field. 그 누가 옷을 입히냐? So who clothed this lily? 공기난 새를 봐라. Even look at the the birds in the sky. 저게 뭐 농사 짓냐? 창고에 쌓아서 뭐 곡식 모아놓고 먹기 사나? Yeah, does this bird farm and also pile up the the crops in the barn? 내가 먹기 사는 게 아니야. Yeah, I'm the one feeding them. 하물며 너일까 보냐? What about much? How how about much more about you? What is you? 그때 말했어. 이 믿음이 작은 자들아. You of little faith. 그렇죠. 믿음이 작으니까 의심을 하고 염려하는 거. Because you have little faith, that's why you doubt. You are doubtful, and then oh, you don't believe. 믿음 없으면 그것도 안 해. Ah, if you don't have faith at all, then even you would not doubt. 믿기는 믿는데 믿음이 작아. Yeah, even though they believe, but it is a small faith, little faith. 그래 막 실제 문제 아시면 막막 염려하고 막 의심하고. That's why when realistic problem comes to you, then you always fall into worries and then concern. 우리가 하나님을 절제 그냥 순종하라고 말씀. But we are taught to thoroughly rely on Him and obey Him. 그런데 우리는 하나님이 아직 안 되는 반대로 이리감. But for us, we are not. Uh, we cannot really rely on God, obey God. That's why we instead we turn our direction into idol worshiping. 자, 그래서 디모데후서 3장 1절로. Then you can look at Second Timothy chapter three, verse one to five. 성경 말세 고통한 때올 것이다. The Bible says that, that in the last days there will be a terrible 그 time. 그 이유를 말씀하세요. Time of suffering. 돈을 사랑. And also the reason was mentioned there because people. 자기를 사랑하고 돈을 사랑. People are lovers of themselves and lovers of money in 사랑. the last days, and also people love pleasures. 그때 뭔지 알아요? 하나님보다 더함이 이랬다. Yeah, they love all these things more than God. 하나님보다 나를 더 사랑하고 하나님보다 돈을 더 하나님보다 캐나 더 사랑. In the last days, people will love themselves more than God. People will love pleasure more than God. 그게 마지막 말씀이네. So this is what will happen in the last days. 대부 우상숭배. So all people uh, will fall into idol worship. 하나님을 의지 순종하지 않고 전부. Instead of relying on God, obeying God, they fall into idol worshiping. 자 요아리스. 4장 2. And 1 John chapter 4. 아, 2장 15절. 어, 2nd, 어, sorry. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 to 17. 세상의 것을 사랑하지 마라. So do not love the things of the world. 세상 것이 뭐예요? What is the things of the world? The things come from the world. 육신의 정욕, 안목의 정욕, 이생의 자랑. It is a physical desire, lust, and uh, also the uh, the boast about what you have and what you have done. 세상이, so these are what the world is. 하나님께로 온 것이야 이런 말씀. All these pleasure, lust didn't come from God. 자 
여러분 눈치 챘습니까? Did you uh, realize this? 이게 뭐예요, 이게? What is this all about? For, uh, 세 가지. 나, 육신, 어, 물질, 세상 아닙니까? You, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 and Matthew 16:24 and 1 John chapter 2:15-17. 상세기 3장 6장 11절. So what are these? These are 그래서. actually it is about the me centeredness. 사단의 통치 원리. Yeah, physical and materialistic centeredness and worldly success centeredness. It is the um, the Satan's. Um, 그래서 그게 우상 숭배 되는 거야. 왜? 우상 숭배는 사단의 통로. It is the law of maybe Satan's kingdom where he uh, rules his world. 여러분이 돈 하나님보다 돈을 사랑하고 여러분이 육신 물질 따라가 나 중심이 되면 사단이 딱 잡혀. So if you love money and then you become centered on the materialistic things and the, uh, on yourself then you have no choice but to seize by Satan. 사단 지금도 여러분 이걸로 유혹하고 이걸로 시험 주고 이걸로 피파가요. Even now, 그렇죠. Satan lures you with this, and then also tempts you this, and then also uh, make you fall into trial using this. 그러면서 우리가 세상에서 어쩌면 이런 것 때문에 고통 피상 다를 수 있고 이것 때문에 우리가 때로는 손해 볼수 있고. And in some cases, because of this, in this world, we can be persecuted, and we can also face hardship and sufferings. 하나님의 나라 백성은 절대 그 때문에 아니다. 하나님을 전적으로 순종하는 거다. But the people of God should not follow after all these things of the world, but must rely on God, obey God. 그러면 여러분이 하나님이 하늘과 땅이 모든 것을 모든 하는 것인데 왜 실패하기 그렇지 않다 이 말. But 그렇죠? think to yourself. 하나님 돌봐주겠다. If God has all the authority, if Christ has all the authority of heaven and on earth, is He not enough or sufficient to you? 그러면 여러분이 한번 체험하셔야 돼. That's why I think you need to experience this at least once. 그렇죠. 이걸 한 번도 누가 못 봐도고 맨날 그냥 우리 인간 생각하자고. 아이고 뭐 그래도 뭐 이런 욕심 이거 쫓아가면 무슨 하나님 나라입니까 그 마귀 나라 이게. If you don't really experience really Christ is everything is solution to all problems uh, you don't experience at least once then you have no choice but to follow after these things of the world. 그렇죠. 어떠면 여러분이 어느 날 이게 딱딱 들어오면. 그때부터 나는 절대 사람도 못 만다 이런 나올 거예요. So once you know really you experience really crisis everything you will make a resolution that oh I will not receive any help 그렇잖아. from. 그렇잖아. 내가 뭐 때문에 하나님의 자녀도 하나님의 백성인데 내가 사람 우리 사람 돈 받이 우리 사람 돈 받이. Why I am a children of God and I am the people of God why should I rely on the people's help and you know their support? 그렇잖아. 내가 하나님의 응답 받아야지 뭐 때문에 사람 손빌러 그 그런 응? 진짜 그 하나님 나라 마지 마귀 백성처럼 우리가 대상 그래 합니까? 나 하나님 자녀 자부심이지. I am the people of God. I am the child of God. Christ is everything, you know. I can enjoy him, but why should I rely on the people and then I should back him to receive anything? 그냥 얘기가 아닙니다. 잘 들으셔야 돼. It is not just a mere story, but you must listen to listen carefully to this. 우리가 복음이 너무 안 됐습니다. Because we are not gospelized at all. 이게 뭐 보면 누린 날 그래요. So uh, you when you rely on God, you totally uh, thoroughly obeying him, we call this uh, you know you are enjoying the gospel. 하나님 나라 법은 하나님을 사랑하는데 하나님을 전적 의지로 순종하는 거다. What is the law of God's kingdom? It is to love God and love neighbors. Thoroughly obey him, rely on him. 두 번째 뭡니까? 이웃을 내 몸과 이 사랑. And then what is the second law of God's kingdom? 그 it is love for neighbors. 이웃을 섬기는 거다. What is love for neighbors? It is to serve neighbors. 그러면 이 반대말이 뭡니까? Then uh, again, what is the opposite word to love for neighbors? 착취하는 겁니다. 착취. The opposite word is you exploit your neighbors. 다 이웃을 착취하려고. So most people they try to exploit uh, their neighbors. 이 세상의 원리. That is the principle of this world. 그렇잖아. 어떻게 하든지 월급 조금 주고 자기 많이 챙겨줘. Isn't it? If you are an employer, then oh, you know, in, mo in most cases, they will give you, they try to give you less salary and then uh, try to use you the most. 왜? 그 사람은 하나님 안 믿기 때문에 내가 나를 내가 많이 가져야 되기 때문에 어쨌든 많이 빼서 많이 확보해 그게 자기 안전하고 자기 그게 뭔가 자기가 행복하다 생각. These people like an employer of the company because they are unbelievers. They always think that to have more than others can protect them. 그러니까 막 수, 세상은 전부 많이 대한 많이 투쟁입니다. That's why this world is filled with the fights. 그게 
사단이 세상 통치한 법. So this is how Satan rules this world. 하나님의 나라는 그게 아니에요. But God's kingdom is not like that. 그래서 누가 그래서 하나님 나라 가면 젓가락이 Oh, so then one person said this: When you go to heaven, then uh, he saw a chopstick. You will see a chopstick there. 기다란 집안 집에 안 들어가요. 왜 지금 뭔요? Because since the chopstick 그렇죠? is too long, he cannot really pick the food and then uh, put it into his mouth. Because it's too long. 그거 가서 이제 이거 안 되는 거 가면 이제 자기 자기 지원을 몰라 그냥 안 들어가는 거예요. Because it is in heaven, so if he tries to feed himself only, then the food will not enter into his mouth. 망두 망 어떻게 써? 닭 집어 망두 망 먹이면 돼. Uh, then what do you have to do? Since chops is so 그렇죠. long, you just pick the food and give it to your neighbor. Who <laughs> pure? <laughs> so I thought I thought that someone really gave, gave the proper parable about God's kingdom. 하나님 나라, 하나님 사랑, 이웃 사랑. Yeah, the law of God's kingdom is love for God and love for neighbors. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 이게 하나님 나라의 통치. So this is the principle of God's kingdom. 예수님께서 이걸 이 계명을 준다고 말. Oh, Jesus he says that he's giving this commandment to his disciples now. 그래서 여러분이 이렇게 살아야 된다 하면 또 부담스러워요. Oh, but you know if you are asked to live this way to love your God and 그렇죠. to love your neighbors then you will feel burdens right? 뭐 우리 뭐 인격이 뭐 그렇게 되지도 않는데 뭐 이렇게 또 살아야 되나 또 이거 삶을 갖다 또 이제 또 이게 막 율법 돌아갑니다. 이거 막 look at 돼. yourself. You know when you look at your characters you are not like a up to a person who can live like a, a love God and love neighbors. 그래서 조심해라. That's why you should be careful. 아까 했죠. 죄의 유통 구조로. I said this before the distribution process of sin. 사단이 죄의 세력을 통해 역사하는데 어떻게? Satan always walks through these forces of sin. 옛 사람을 지배하고 그에서 몸 그를 통해서 죄의 몸 몸으로 죄를 짓게 받아서 사망 열매 맺게 한다. So these forces sin controls your old self and then cause your uh, body of sin commit sin. 그러니까 이거 십자가에 이걸 못 박아 봐. But you must crucify your old self on the cross. 그러면 이 예수님 죽어버릴까? 죽었다고 하면 사람이 이 집에 와서 무슨 왜냐 그럴까? 이게 뭐 자기 죽었다고 하니까. If you say that my old self is crucified, then Satan cannot control old self anymore. Then directly he will attack. 그러면 이 몸을 직접 딱 그렇죠. Satan or these forces of sin will attack your body of sin, your body. 그럴 때이 몸이 뭐야? 사욕, 욕심을. So at that moment, all the you know the uh, the physical desires of your body will come out. Then you will be tempted by these uh, physical desires of your body. Then Satan causes your body of sin, your body uh, commits sin, and then make you will make you bear fruit for death. What is the cross? When Christ was crucified, even my old self was crucified with him. Bible says. 그러면 여러분이 그걸 실제로 아내 사람은 십자가 죽었다고 해야 돼. Then realistically, you must acknowledge this in yourself that oh, my old self now is crucified with Christ. 그걸 늘이 죄 유혹할 때마다 그렇게 해야 돼. Whenever you are tempted by the sin or any temptation, you must remember this. My old self is crucified. 나는 그런 옛 사람은 죽. 그런 내 이미 그런 나는 죽었다. So my old self uh, uh, have been dead or died. 그래서 이 몸도 아까 말했죠 제 몸이 죽을 몸이라고 말했어. So even this body, we the body we have, it is I told you already, it is a mortal body. 부활을 위해서 죽을 몸. It is a mortal body waiting for the redemption. 마지막 구속을 기다리는 몸이다. Yeah, it is the mortal body waiting for the last redemption. 이 몸도 죄에 대해서는 하나님께서 살았고 죄에 대한 죽은 자를 얘기를 지어다 이렇게 돼. That's why uh, to the sin you must consider your body of sin is dead but live to God. 여러분 그 죽었다는 원을 보면요 쓸모 막 하게 돼. 죄에 대한 뭐 쓸모 없는 몸이 되다 이런 뜻이에요. So what does it mean that you consider your uh, body body of sin is uh, dead? Dead to God, then it means that means here it become a uh, wasted or. 그래서 그 죄에 대해서는 기능이 상실돼. 
student towards the scene so you have no more function of your body. 다시 말해 불구자 돼 불구자. It means your body you must consider it this way your body of sin or your body become disabled in front of the scene. 눈으로 이렇게 보고 아막 유혹 받을 때가 있으면 그볼 때마다 아이눈난눈 보고 눈이 맹인이야 이러는 거. Let's say, for example, when your right. eyes see something to be tempted, then you must consider your eyes. Oh, I am, you know, handicapped or disabled. 그렇게 여기라고 말했어 바울. So Paul, he said, you must consider uh, your body that way. 그래야 죄의 세력이 무력화된다 이 말. Then this part, the forces of sin, will be uh, nullified or will become powerless to you. 이만큼 이게 안에 우리 안에서 계속 그지하고. So to this much, this power of sin is still inside of us. Try to be at work or try to be active. 육신입니다. And then your sinful nature. 육신보다 자기 주장 의지의 본성 말한. So what is a sinful nature? Sinful nature is about your self-assertion and will. 이게 육신율법 선한 일. 이걸 내가 육신 자기 의지로 이걸 하려면 이게 세력 발동. Yeah, once you try to keep the law or you try to do the good deeds by sinful nature, then Satan or the force of sin will be active. 이래가지고 뭐 좋은 율법 지키려 했는데 알고 보면 나중에 사망 일면 변해 많이. Even though the law itself is a such a good thing, but you you keep this by your self assertion, that's why you will bear fruit for death later. 그래서 여러분이 여기서 말하는 이죠 내가 뭘 하는 게 아닙니다. That's why. Love for God or love for neighbor, it is not for you to do something to love God or neighbors. So let the Holy Spirit do the work for you. That's why you must do all things by the Holy Spirit. What is a sanctification? Sanctification is the working of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand? Do you understand? If you try to keep all the good things, or try to do the good things, or keep the law by your assertion of will, then you will be deceived by Satan again. So live by the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5:16. Or. 그런 성령 우리와 함께 하시는 거예요. That's why Holy Spirit is with us. 성령 우리 깨달음 줘요. And Holy Spirit helps us realize. 믿음도 주세요. Holy Spirit gives us faith. As well. 할수 힘도 주신다. Holy Spirit gives us strength to do good works. 그러니까 우리 성령을 의지하셔야 돼. That's why we must rely on the Holy Spirit. 그 여러분이요 복음을 누릴 때 진짜 여러분이요 우리 호흡 기도잖아요. 정말 성령 충만 나를 기도하고요. 성령이 나를 주장할 수도 하면 성령이 나를 컨트롤해요. 잘 주장한다. We do deep breathing exercise. So when you really pray uh, with a deep breathing, when you breathe in, you are praying for the filling of the Holy Spirit. Then if you do this, then realistically, Holy Spirit will be at work inside of you. 그러면 그 성령께서 우리로 하여금 이걸 하게 하신다니까 하나님 의자에 만들고 이거 사랑해 하신다. Holy Spirit will work upon us so that we will do. I mean, we will rely on God, we will obey God, we will love God and neighbors. 성령은 독자적인 활동하지 않습니다. So Holy Spirit does not work on its own. 하나님의 영이요 그리스도의 영입니다. Because it is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. 하나님의 뜻을 이루게 하고, 그렇죠? 하나님이 원하는 거, 그 우리 보고 할수 있도록. Holy Spirit fulfills God's will, and also Holy Spirit will allow us to carry out God what the work God desires. 그러니까 우리가 이미 하늘에 속했기 때문에 이 땅에 있는 동안에도 하나님의 우리가 천상의 실존의 삶을 사는데 그게 하나님 그거 할수 있는 성령을 보내셨다 우리 함께 하자. So God, since God has given us the Holy Spirit to us already, even though we live on this earth, but we can enjoy um, all the things in heaven. 그래서 여러분이 에, 오늘 제가 하는 거는 여러분이 이 바르게 알아들 알아들어야 돼요. 잘못하면 또 우리가 아니는 막 구원 받아서 뭐또 이렇게 살아야 된다 이렇게 좀 오해하시고. So. The message I'm giving you now, you must uh, understand this correctly, you know, because you will think that uh, in some cases, oh, you know, there's then we must love God, we must neighbor, then you will try yourself, you will force yourself to love God and to love neighbors by your own strength. <laughs> some people say to me that they think that. You know, for Pastor Shin, he always travels to the overseas countries. So you know, wouldn't be difficult. And 
저는, it's not difficult for me at all. 저는 내가 한 마음, 저 내가 뭘 해야 되다. 저는 그래도 뭐 합니다. I never think that oh, you know, I must do something. If I'm like this, I cannot do any work at all. 하나님이 그런 마음 주시고 할수 있는 걸 주실 거 하는 거지. Only God allows me to uh, give me the heart to do this work, and then God gives me the strength to do that work. That's why I can do it. 그러니까 막 제가 러시아 갔다 오자마자 또줄 지나 에디피아 갔다 오자마자 또 이거. I after I came back from Russia and then after just uh, keeping the Sabbath day and then I went to Indonesia again. I went to other place. 그러니까 막 같이 따라가 다니는 사람은 아이고 막또 나는 막 이거 일주일 가도 일주일 쉬어야 돼 이러더라고. <laughs> But people who accompany me accompanied me to overseas countries, they said, "Oh, you know, Pastor, since we travel for one week, so I need to rest for one week." Why not? Come on, I'll go with you. Because for them, they just accompanied me. That's why. But for me, I didn't accompany, but I was pushed by God. You know. So if you try to do this by yourself or by your strength, then it will be difficult. Because we all have our limitations. Once you face with your limitation, then you cannot continue. You cannot carry on, right? So you will crumble. 그러니까 잘 알아두셔야 돼. 그리스도 통치. That's why you must understand this very well. Because Christ reigns. That's why you must be live your life reigned by Christ. 내가 주의 그리스도가 주인 되고 그분을 통치받는 사람. You are no longer a master of your life, but you must be reigned by Christ. Let the Christ be the Lord of your life. 여러분이 그리스도께 순종하면 따라가면 순종하면 통치하면 하나님께서 성령께서 우리를 그렇게 할수 있도록 힘을 주시고 인도하신다. If you become obedient to Christ, if you follow after the Christ, He will give you the strength to do all the the work He desires. 그래서 모든 삶의 기준 하나님의 사랑, 이웃 사랑. So all the standard for your lifestyle must be the love for God, love for neighbors. Yeah, 그게 하나님 나라 삶, 백성의 삶 원리니까. It's because that it is the principle of God, uh, God's people in God's 판단. kingdom. 이것이 옳다 그러다 그 판단도 기준은 하나님 사랑 이웃 사랑. When also you make a value judgment upon anything, so you must decide according to whether it is love for God or love for neighbors. 여러분 유리지서도 이걸 해야 돼 말하냐 그 기준도. When you also need to make ethical choices, you have to follow. You have to check yourself whether it is love for God and love for neighbors. 그러면 세상에 영향 준다고 말씀하세요. Then Bible says that you will give influence to the world. 너희는 세상의 소금이고 빛이다 이런 말. Bible says you are the light of the world and you are the salt of this world. 여러분이 하나님 사랑 이웃을 살면 저절로 세상의 소금이 되고 빛이 돼. If you love, if you live your lives loving for God, loving for your neighbors, then you will become the light of the world. You will become the salt of the world. What is the role of the salt? Yeah, salt always prevents decaying. And also heals, healing. And also give taste to the life, or as well as. 여러분 이 원리 사는데 여러분 주변의 사람이 보고 야, 보자. 여러분 보자 보이. 야, 제법 하나님이 살아계신 것 같다. 이래요. You just live your lives, you know, according to or live by the principle or law of God's kingdom, then people around you will see you, will recognize you. 내가 하나님을 의지하고 순종하니까 하나님의 역사가 내 삶에 일어나니까 저 사람들은 야, 보이 저 사람은 하나님 계신 것 같다. 이래요. What I do is I just try to rely on God and then try to love God and love neighbors. But others, when they look at me, they see that oh, I am different. 그러니까 성경 보세요. 여러분 여호와께 요셉과 함께 하시면 요셉 형통한 자 됐다. That's why the Bible says that when Joseph, uh, when God was God was with Joseph, that's why he became prosperous. 다윗을 보고 여호와는 나의 목자시니 부자 되었다. And also David confessed, the Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not be in want. 그리고 렘넨들은 뭐 철저히 하나님을 의지하고 순종하는 거야. These seven remnants in the Bible thoroughly they obeyed God. They relied on God. 그래 그런 삶 그삶 속에 전부 하나님의 역사만 있는 거예요. So in their hearts, you know, the working of God were there. 그걸 불신자 주의사람 보게 되는 거예요. Then unbelievers will witness this from them. 그러니까 야 니보이 하나님 사는 게. Well, they will say that oh, when I look at you, I think God is living. 
그게 여러분이 이래 살면 그 이후 주변에 영적 무시가 사라져. So if you live uh, your life this way, yeah. then all the power darkness in your region even will be crumbled. 흑암이 끊겨버려. Yeah, the power darkness will be broken. 그러니까 주변 사람이 흑암이 끊겨야 영안이 열리가요. So only when darkness is broken, then spiritual eyes will be open for them. 그러니까 우리가 빛이란 말은 여러분이 있으면 빛이 돼서 주변 사람들이 이 흑암이 끊겨버려. 뭐 보인다니까요. 아, 뭐 니가 뭐 하나님 계시 같다. 이래. What does it mean that you are the light of the world when the light is shown the darkness will flee, right? So then when darkness flee then people will be able to see spirit. 그러니까 가만히 또 저절로 보고 야, 너 니가 뭐 예수 그 진짜 맞다. 이 맞는 거 같아. 나도 예수 믿어야 되겠다. 나와요. And people will also confess when I look at you I think really God is alive so I think I need to believe in God too. 그런 뜻으로 너희는 세상의 소금의 빛이다. So from this perspective, uh, Bible says that, that we are the light of the world and so on. We are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. So if you live your if you live your lives loving God and loving neighbors, then you live your life as a world a light and salt. So the light comes out, but that light is what? The light of the world. You will bear fruits from your life. The light of the world. That is the fruit of righteousness. 성령의 열매. Fruit of goodness. Fruit of uh, Holy Spirit. 그러니까 영광을 하나님께 돌릴 수밖에. Then you have no choice but to give all the glory to God. 여러분이 여기에 바르게 살아야 돼. So this is what the proper 그렇죠. work of faith. 무시자 여러분 잘 보고 하 하나님 진짜 하나님 영광 그러고 바르게 살고. So when uh, unbelievers when they look at you, then you know they should give glory to God. Oh, because of you, I think a God is living and act. So I think 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 God is living and act. It's because you try so hard to make something to happen, so you yourself is being revealed and be, being shown to others. 그럼 불신자 보고, 야, 저 사람 저거 훌륭하고 참저 사람 부부의 삶하다 이런 식으로 안 돼. Then unbelievers will, uh, when look at you, then they will say, oh, you know, you. 그러면 are 하나님 영광은 안 드러나. That person, you are so renowned, you are really something. Then God's glory will not be revealed through you. 그걸 말하는 게 아닙니다. I'm not talking about that. 내가 어떻게든 하나님을 의지 순종하는데 하나님이 역사하니까 불신자 보고도 알수 있도록 야 진짜 하나님 너 보고 하는 사람 계실 거다. What I did is I always try to obey God, rely on God, love God, love neighbors. Then even unbelievers, when they see me, when they see me, they see God is within me and God is living and alive. 저 사람 뭐 저저 저래서 할수 없는데. 내보다 조건 나 부어 안 되는데 어떻게 저렇게 사람은 염려가 극장을 사는 알고 봤더니 하나님이 함께하지. And also people when look at this person, uh, to the um, uh, with the, this person's ability, I don't think he can do that. You know, he can manage that work. But I think uh, later on they found out. 그거는 내가 첫째 하나님 의자 순종할 때 나타난 거예요. Later on they found out that oh, this person God is with him. 그죠? 어느 날 여러분이 야뭐 하나님 믿어도 되나? 이랬다가 나중에 가서 지는 되는 게 없고 되는 게 되고 야뭐 진짜 하나님 믿는 거. And the person who said, you know, oh, even though you believe in God, what's going to happen, you know? Ah, 그래도 뭘 해야지. 그래요. 하는 놈은 안 되고. 진짜 하는 놈은 기도하는 거. See, they say that, oh, you know, I must do something now. So all of the person who said this, they perish. But the those uh, didn't say anything, but they just trusted God. Then, you know, works took place uh, for these people. 야, 뭐 진짜 하나님 계신 거 아니야, 저 사람도. 저 사람 저할수 없지. 저 사람 믿는 하나님이 정말 저렇게 축복했구나. Oh, you know, look at this person. I think that God is really alive. You know, He is not that kind of person to be able to do this work. 그래서 그 열매를 통해서 영광 하나님께 돌리는 거야. That's why all the fruits uh, that are born through you, you will give glory through this. You will give glory to God. 이거 설명이 좀 어려워져도 뭐잘 이해가 되는지 모르겠어요. 잘못하면 여러분이 뭔가 우리가 또 뭐지 바르게 살아야 돼 이렇게 오해 시고 그런 말이 아닌데 뭐 이웃 사랑하기 또 무슨 뭐 사랑을 열심히 잘해야 돼 이렇게 생각. I don't know whether my explanation was difficult, but I'm not saying that you must, uh, you know, try so hard to live up, uh, upright or righteous living. 그러니까 이거잖아요. 아까 했잖아. I do this. 
So loving God, loving neighbor, this is what it is, you know. Thoroughly, you should kneel before God by relying on Him, by being obedient to Him. Oh, you must kneel before Christ. He is my Lord, and then you thoroughly obey Him, you depend on Him. Yeah, the Lord says to us, in trust, cast all your anxiety on me. That is why you will have time always looking to God and having fellowship and communication with God. No matter what kind of problems come to you, but you will not be shaken, but instead you will look up to God. And also try to discard yourself, and then instead you will only look to God or Christ. So the more faith you have, the more you will wait. So until you know God's answer becomes very, um, um, very, uh, what, solid, then until that time you will wait. You will not do anything absurdly. So thoroughly obey God and rely on God. 그분이 여러분 인도하시고 그분이 능력까지 행하시고 역사하신 거 그게 내 삶에 드러나는 거. The Lord guides you, the Lord leads you. So then uh, the Lord will be revealed through your life. 하나님은 하늘과 땅의 모든 걸다 하고. Yeah, Christ he has all the authority of heaven and on earth. 그래서는 Isn't that so? Christ is not lacking for anything. He has infinite love, power, and wisdom. So with that, He is with me. And with that, He guides me. So not by my power, but with His power, He guides me, He leads me. So all the seven remnants in the Bible, they live their life in this uh, manner. In Potiphar's house, house, one slave came to his house, and when he looked at him, he was a slave. But later on, he realized that he was not just a mere slave, but he was a God was with Joseph. Potiphar, he saw that. 그러니까 막다 맡기 버려. 왜냐면 그게 지인들 이기든 그렇잖아. 얘네 맡기야 뭐일다 되니까. Then this Potiphar he entrusted all the house chores to Joseph. 그래 막밥 먹는 거는 다 니네 알아서 해 버려. 그게 진짜 유기. Except the food I eat, you know, you will be in charge of all my household. 네, 하나님이 와 함께 보이게. Because Potiphar saw that God's spirit was Joseph with Joseph. 요셉이 철저히 하나님을 의지하고 순종. Joseph, he thoroughly obeyed God. He depended on God. It means Joseph really realistically enjoyed the presence of God. So establishing God's kingdom being established in my in my, inside of me, then uh, you must really uh, believe in God. So you must have this uh, experience at least once in your life. 그러니까 우리가 이제 삶이 바뀌, 원리가 바뀌. Then uh, the principle where by which you live your lives will change once you experience this. 철저하게 그리스도가 왕노를 한다면 우리가 이왕 대신 그리스도에 의지하고 순종한 삶. If thoroughly Christ He reigns, then that we must be reigned by uh, the Jesus Christ, who is the King, our King. 자, 그러면 나머지 이제 재림 신앙에서 이제 뭐가 나옵니까? 여기서 이제 우리가 미션이 나옵니다. Then uh, next is as the uh, I mean the second coming or advent of Christ. In advent of Christ, we have we will find our mission. 네, 그건 내일 좀다 마.